you know most people are going to get surprised that oh pure pound is graduating but yeah that is you if life was a movie what character would you be the one that worked hard the one that worked smart or the one who refused to give up in a way when I look at myself in the mirror, I see a black superhero, a female black superhero. And that's how I react to life, like a superhero. Someone whose story is going to be huge. Someone whose story will inspire. Someone whose story makes someone else believe in their story too. My name is Jirabo Tracy, Pia Pound. And this is my graduation story. Fresh. My graduation story starts the day I was born, of course. Lost my mama at the age of two. And my dad never wanted responsibility. Pia yagendo kuzali wanga. Mama wafi tevali mu gundi nungi ne muzei wafi. Yuki danzen na liyo mukuru. Pia nganzen musitura. Bana inga azito wa. <laughs> nga amenya. <laughs> Tuwake na nga muchachi. Da yuki devisele vya alivya napi. Havana baba siba napi. Tati tuwake na nga muchachi. Pia nage na yono na. Natinga mama wafi, ayagala nyo kuto okusowola, atura nyo maso. Takati ngo ino kujia pia, eri kulaini, eri eso kamaso. Nemule itapaka mwelu, ngende munazi, na inga wuhu na wetu itao. <laughs> I got adopted thrice. First by my auntie, then by my brother, and later by friends. kudda mu kusisinkana ne pia uh, yali mama mama alice twasisinkana na mutaxi nze no jukira boba mama abaso bolo ku manya anti ononno no mutabani wafe nga ankola ndi mutsajja nkuzi mama oyo nangamba anti nambuza nangamba mm. gwe kana gwe yampita na kana gwe nangamba nzo manyi Kanzi ni mugamba, siku manyi. Nyanga mante, <laughs> kale mulavi. Nzi mto manyi mama o alisi. Kanzi, eh, ye gwe. Nyanga mante, mm, hey. Ye nzi, kati yao, nevi dala nevi ya nevi gende roko, netumanya gana, netufuruma ni mutaksi. Ngapade namba ye, angambie no kuambuli deno kubwa, angambie nkubira ko, inchatu ogire yude. Ne muku bida ko, na ampite uwe, ne tugende uwe, kwe kusanga yo pia. Pia, pia yali ali ndo zamu S1, nga ingi de S1. Kakati, ne tutula ne mama, mama na ngamba, nti, ngeenda kutambu la mu, ngeenda buweru, ne nze, Nganzi kansuke ngeende buweru, anubajida bakulachi. Nange ni mugamba na ye, bobo genda buweru. Pia, mkulechi, mumpe. Buatio, nakiriza, nitandiko kupira ne pia. <laughs> My brother didn't have money. And I noticed, because he was struggling, and I had come out of um, a life where there wasn't struggle. And I watched my brother do literally the most. He's paying grant, he's paying tuition for like six children, he has a wife. By 15, I was independent. 
independence for a teenager means doing whatever they want but the reality is independence means responsibility survival option has I was in Form 3 and 15, but I was doing it because my brother is struggling and I can see he's struggling. Losing parental guidance was a very uncalculated. I did not ever know when I was making my decisions that a day would come when I actually don't have a parent. I entered these walls in 2016. I came here to pursue a degree in public administration. Part of me was hopeful, the other, well, a bit unsure. University is very expensive, and my job alone at the time couldn't support me through a single semester. Sometimes I would collect maybe 300 shillings and then start asking about tuition, tuition in different schools and 1 1.8, 1 1.9, 2 1.4. Ah! <laughs> How am I going to get even a million? When I first joined International University of East Africa, I loved the environment. Tempting bursary aside. <laughs> One day I was going to town. I see this post, big, huge poster at um, used to be Didi's World. So I see this huge poster saying 50% bursary. <laughs> I told my body that I first stop. I read that poster very carefully. I was like, okay, 50% bursary. So how much do they pay? I walked in. <laughs> I loved how it was warm and green and clean and as a creator I function better around that. I asked that lady, she was called Carol, I asked her how much do I have to get to, to get started. She told me even if it's 300 shillings, I was like $100, is that is that later? <laughs> Everybody seemed so welcoming. I made friends. <laughs> we met Pia in 2017. Yeah. Yeah. I just remember she walked up to me. We were doing some lecture, and the first thing she asked me, she's like, What's your name? I'm like, Hanan. She's like, Are you on Insta? I'm like, <laughs> A month after joining, a beauty pageant was organized. Two winners would walk away with a full scholarship. Tempting, right? Remember, I have my 50% bursary already for as a new student. And now I'm calculating if I win, it means that I'll have zero money to pay. Thank you very much. Challenge accepted. I got to know Pia from IUEA. That was 2016. We, we were competing in Miss IUEA. We were like almost 24 girls. Some of them kept on dropping out. So I saw Pia. She was a Ugandan like me, and I liked her the moment I saw her, I won't lie. Because that day, I remember in the morning of the competition day, I went to a saloon in, is it Grand Corner? Yeah, it was Grand Corner in town. So I met her there, she was doing her hair, doing her eyelashes, she was there also. I was like, oh, this is fate. So we came back to town, to, to, to school for the, for the night together. And I remember she used to tell me, she, she wants both of us to get a sash, at least that night to walk away with a sash, you know? I, I walked away with a sash, you know, that was a tight competition. And I remember she, her on stage, I remember she won, I think, Miss Miss Talent and Photo, something. Yeah. Yeah. Then she was the second runner-up, Miss IEA. And that was her main aim. She, was, she would always tell me every day she wants to win because she wants to get a scholarship. And she put in a lot of effort. So funny, but... 
I was always at the accounts office explaining myself out of this no tuition, no money situation. I didn't have the money and not having the money kept me away from being at school. Every time she had to do exams, she would come to my office, ask for a favor, uh, which I did by the way, because in the first place I had loved her. The way she used to behave, speak, down to earth, so humble, kind, so it was really hard for me to refuse to do what she wanted. And honestly, I ran out of excuses. I kept missing papers, being chased out of final exams, basically looking so weak. We, had, we are supposed to have a test on that Monday, but then because of that checking and stuff, we couldn't, so we were outside the, the university gate. And so we called her like, man, we are going to miss the test, but it's about tuition and stuff. She's like, oh, I was also coming. Let me come and I see what. So they test all of us back and they're like you guys need to go pay your tuition and then you come back and they're like okay so that day was basically dead we even missed the test even had to ask her what is this that you're on and off then on i realized was that uh, it was uh, to do with uh, the financial unstableness i was staying by myself and don't understand by myself, but paying my own tuition. Because one was not very sure. I actually asked her one time, I said, no, you know, I have a problem with school fees. I have to raise my own fees. And uh, that means I have to take an extra job. Take on an extra job. And taking on an extra job means interfering with school. Maybe my music needed me more. Maybe um, it's the only way I could make money. That's how I felt when I put school on pause and went to chase my dream. Fresh. <laughs> Amatala, want to lula ko, no mutimane guaka, nalengera. My career was launched, signed by Uganda's biggest talent export. You see, being a star is what I live for. I make all my choices basing on the fact that I have to shine. Camera, lights, action. Music makes me feel so powerful. Every time I'm behind a microphone or every time I'm on stage, I don't worry about a thing. I'm, I'm, I'm powerful. I am in my moment of true happiness. Music of Tambus, I can see na lately over the Tambula. What do Tambula? Music of Tambus is from one place to another. But then, but then, Colo Pula, whatever did that? Yes, I China showed you to the China. Put a lot of work in your video, and you're actually actively dancing. I think you'll be dancing like that. But I danced in delicious as well. Yeah, but you know, everyone kind of thinks a pounds then she's dancing and just doing it so oh, well. it's good thanks thank you all right so uh what yes. does that mean your attitude oh yes oh my god i planted you it's the new slang in town i can't no, believe you guys like, don't know i was thinking i know what it means but i wanted to be sure okay Chibiracho. Chibiracho. Uh, every time i felt like i was alone in my own space my mind would take me to school. 
and say, you would have been graduating by now. You would have been far by now. Why did you stop? Why didn't you just go back and do something? I knew it would be difficult starting over or going back to school amidst all of that that was happening. I received countless calls from my lecturers, the staff at school, my friends, everybody that cared called. Chirabo at one time was this lady who didn't see future in education and started having a lot of thoughts between music and education. And um, so to say, at some time T dropped from studying. Then I had to call her in and talked to her, I encouraged her to go back to school, and I actually advised for her to start from zero. Considering the time she had left, she had all these tuition challenges. So I told her, you know what, you can do it again, but start from zero. And she took the advice and started all over again. So I'm glad that uh, she did that. I went back to school upgrading to business administration. Back to school. Also back to school. <laughs> this time I needed to be serious. This time I didn't want tuition issues to come in the way or the fact that I'm missing lectures. I wanted to be connected to my lecturers, to my faculty. It started feeling like everybody was rooting for me to achieve this, to make it. Every office I walked in, people were willing to listen and to offer help. I came in, she was really like, really, really frustrated, actually. Like, I can at least remember that look she had on her face. She had missed like a semester, she had got like a dead semester, missed papers. Like, she was really, really, really in a maze and really like puzzled and confused. So she was like, I really don't know what to do, but I don't know if the uni can help me out. Like, what? She wanted to get, to get onto, I think it was a scholarship scheme as well, because she was having some issues with the finances. She had missed some papers, stuff like that. She wanted to see her results and uh, they really wanted a lot of things. That is when she came to me. She asked me whether I can be able to help her out. And I tried to go to speak to a few people and, you know, they were demanding her a lot of money and she really didn't have, you know, that much to pay and do her examinations. And then grad our graduation also came in 2020 online and then I was telling her that, why don't you come and perform? And then she was like, you see, Nicholas, performing is not the problem. But you want me to do a service to the university that's not doing something for me? Of course I told her about the um, talent scholarships, like because we have different scholarship schemes at IUEA, that's uh, sports, academics, talent, women empowerment, like we have different schemes all together. Yeah, so through our talk, that's when like I found out that uh, she was actually an artist. So I'm like, oh, by the way, do you know that we have someone else also benefiting from these talent uh, scholarships? That's uh, Shafiq, the boxer. You have talent, and this is a place that really appreciates talent. So let's try and see how things go. You never know. You could also win yourself something. So Pia is a skilled, she's a talented person. So I think it's time that we should also consider that. Then uh, I presented that. Now from there, that is when now the process of working on her scholarship came up. In 2020, the pandemic hit and the world went silent. There were no performances, no appearances, no school. My school launched an online class program. It was amazing. It was the best news I had had all year. First of all, we had a technological university of choice. When COVID-19 came and the universities were closed, remember we, we have the online system. What we did was that uh, we had to now train all students, the ones that were doing on campus, how to use online. It was cheaper than the other option, just $250 a semester. So COVID instead just made things move faster than they were actually moving. We have this uh, IT support center whereby uh, they give free services to students for computers or any other related issues. It's only a year in Uganda that does that. Other universities charge. If you try and for online, 
actually should right now be in like year one semester two. You study from wherever you are. Basically, education made easy. The system was awesome. Logic tests only. Nothing obvious. If you don't know, you don't know. Remember, there was a time uh, they were doing exams and her account wasn't active. So uh, she contacted me and I was notified by accounts office to activate her account. So I had to first activate her account, then uh, train her on how to, to use the exam module. The one, the system that we use for online studies. So she was able to do her exams successfully. <laughs> I was studying final year while creating my EP to party. Give me your heart down, cause the gate is a go by the loan, you jubilate. I want your heart so we will be baby. Baby, boy, don't you delay. To party took this country by storm, and I was overwhelmed. My entire team that had worked so hard was overwhelmed as well. To party's success was assurance that we were on the right track. And the question of whether I was doing the right thing went out of the way. We lived a, a, a much simple, simpler life in the way that uh, you see you see artists have this tendency of you know being in a place and wanting everyone not that you know they are around but this is someone who is so down to earth someone who is so calm you can't even know that she's she's the one you see you get so you might find her on the way and you will not know that this is spear pounds the balance of being a stand and a student at the same time is very challenging you're on stage one night and in class the next morning. Live in two worlds and you can't merge them. This is academia and then you have entertainment out there. Because remember one thing, if you're a performing artist, remember you, you're on stage. And uh, there's any excitement you can get involved in, or what we call indulging as well. So that one could lead you to either slowing down because one thing you will come, let's say for example, come into class, but you're fatigued, you're tired. Sometimes we'd have early lectures. She obviously had a show before, or she had to be somewhere, and she'd turn up. She would show up, but a bit late, obviously. She had to balance, either to continue with her performances during the night, or come, to, come for the exams. What I saw in her is one that positiveness, wanting to learn. She puts off all her celebrity wings and then she enters into the resident's life. When she had something that was disturbing her, like a special coursework, she would come to me, I help her through it. I would discuss for her, especially courseworks like in the accounting field, because I majored in accounting and finance. She would uh, spend the entire night doing discussions with uh, the late friend of hers. And I really love that about her. I saw it in her and I knew she would really make it in life. She had this thing and then you, you're always attentive in class, you have to help me that thing. Yeah. So mostly I think I helped her with catching up with the lectures she'd miss or tests. Sometimes she'd have higher marks or I'd have higher marks so we'd go through discussions and all that. 
she knows exactly what she came here to do and it's to complement what she already does in her career and uh, the fact that she has those two going together really shows that she's going to go really far and uh, any support that we would have we could give or she could ask for we would definitely give it she's a survivor mm. so uh, in one word call her a survivor and um, she has that capability of attaining whatever goal she wants to attain. Pia, yale mera ko, atera mule mire, yale mera ko kuchintu chava kozeti, chava gami enti katinja galachino, na chini cha simbi eke sira, te chigua, chima la kugua, na we we ira. She was a very focused student, and you know when someone is focused. They don't struggle a lot because they are determined to achieve what they aimed to achieve in their lives. She has actually proved to the rest of the students that talent can be combined with the studies and a student can still excel. You make me wanna, you make me wanna, you make me wanna dodge it. You make me wanna, you make me wanna dodge it. You make me wanna, you make me wanna, you make me wanna dodge. You make me wanna, you make me wanna, you make me wanna dodge it. You make me wanna, you make me wanna. Keep up the enthusiasm, keep it, keep it pushing, you know, like keep going and even the skies won't be the limit, like just keep it up because right now lots of people are really looking up to you and even the fact that you have your other life as a musician, like lots of people of course will critique you, they'll put you down but just stay focused, know what you want and of course we have your back all the way. I want to uh, use her to encourage other students not to sit on their talent, to also try to bring out the best while they are studying so that they can be able to um, use education to reach the highest levels of their, their talent. Pia, just keep doing what you do. You're very outgoing, you're a very kind person. It's going to take you very far. Pia, I would love to say that um, you are one in a million and that uh, I have a total trust and confidence in you, in what you will do, and um, I really want you to show to the world the deeper energy you have, what you have shown IUEA will not benefit IUEA alone if you don't show it to the world. I'm so happy for you and I believe Brenda may her soul rest in peace, who brought us together, who introduced you to me, must be happy, smiling that you've made it, because you played a very big role in her life, you were there for her during her lowest moments, and I'm sure she will always keep praying for you, meditating for you with her angels. I'm so happy that you kept your faith in finishing your education journey, and I'm so glad that you chose IUEA. She should keep up the spirit. Education is something that is very important. Pia, or oh, Teresi, like we like calling her, but Pia Pants, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I know it's not been easy. Congratulations to you, to us. We finally made it. It's not been easy, but yeah, we did it. We sure did. Yeah, I'm also super proud of you. And I'm super grateful for being on this journey with you like I've seen you through everything and your resilience is crazy your consistency 
your words of affirmation about yourself and about your career and about the people around you yo like i'm super proud of you and i'm always going to be here for you just the way you are for me congratulations pia congratulations pia congrats for having attained this level uh, congratulations pia congratulations pia congratulations congratulations pia to end it to part my story inspires it inspired my school to give me full scholarship to master's degree thank you so much everyone that helped me get here my friends my family friends that became family my school my teachers my lecturers the staff my management everyone comes from the bottom of my heart thank you Tenez, 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 tenez